Today, I'd like to talk about a new video monitoring system and the application of this system in the company office. This system uses the webcams, PCs, and the computer network. All the hardware components are common and already existing. You can do it yourself, just like installing public printers or scanners. The software has been developed and you can download it to try it out. We are familiar with Skype, in which the webcam is connected to a USB port of a PC. Here with mounting device, the webcam is installed on a wall or ceiling. Multiple webcams can be connected to one PC. These webcams are installed at the different positions with different view angles to cover wide area. The PC captures the video and audio data from these webcams and stores them into disk files. The PC also sends the data to another PC in the local area network to play out the videos. Together, the set of webcams and the PC form a camera station. Many camera stations can be set up in the office within the local area network. Then the PC in the local area network is used to receive video and audio data from these camera stations and to play out the videos from all webcams. This PC is the play out station of the video network system. In fact, multiple play out stations can be set up in the local area network to play out the videos. The video network system is like a closed circuit TV system, but it is simpler to set up and cost less. Furthermore, unlike a closed circuit TV, it can provide multiple playout stations located anywhere within the local area network. It is also important to know that the playout station can play out the recorded videos as well as the live videos. In addition, with a special software, the playout station can share its video with several viewers in the local area network and even in the internet. This allows several people to watch the live or recorded video at the same time from different locations in the local area and in remote internet sites. It extends the number of users and the location of the playout stations. Furthermore, with additional software, the player station can broadcast its live video as well as the recorded video to a large number of viewers in the local area network. In this case, the video can be watched by all employees from their desk computer at the same time. This is very useful for certain occasions. So what does this mean and what can we make use of this capability in the company office? I can think of several applications here. Within the local area network, you can set up camera stations in certain areas such as the entrance hallways. You can also set up camera stations in certain rooms such as the reception room, cafeteria, meeting room, and the conference room. You have the option to set up the playout station elsewhere for these camera stations. You can also use the same PC for the camera station and the playout station. In each camera station, a number of webcams are connected to the station PC and focus on certain targets. For permanent setup, each webcam is mounted on the wall or ceiling. The PC of the camera station does not need a screen and the keyboard. It can be a mini PC in a small box. It can be placed on a table, mounted on the wall, or placed above the ceiling. You may set up a playout station to manage the camera station in entrance and hallways. The playout station may be monitored by a security officer for surveillance purpose. The, vi the, the live video as well as the recorded video are also useful for certain people to track certain events from their desk computers. For the setting in other areas, the PC of the camera station can also serve 
as the PC of the player station. In these applications, the purpose is for other people outside the room to watch the live video as well as the recorded video from their desk computer. One PC can be used for both the camera station and the player stations. The video from the reception room or waiting room is useful for certain people to check the status of expected visitors from their desk computers. The video from cafeteria is useful for employees to see the waiting line and check certain people in the area from their desk computer. One PC can be used for both the camera station and the pillow station. Notice in the setting like this, many people may open their viewer to visit this site for a short period of time, but the number of viewers at one time is limited. The PC should be able to serve this limited number of viewers at the same time. For the camera station in the meeting room, the purpose is for other people who cannot attend the meeting to watch and hear the meeting from their desk computer. The recorded video is also useful for the attendees to review the meeting. In this application, one PC can be used as the camera station and the playout stations. The camera station can be a permanent setup in a designated conference room. It can also be a temporary setup using one of attendees' laptop PC. A meeting can take place in the personal office. In the personal office, the camera station is also useful. The purpose here is to record the meeting for future reference or review certain details. In this case, one webcam may focus on the attendees and one webcam may focus on the writing on the whiteboard. It is not needed to set up the player station here. The recorded video can be played back at a later time after the meeting. This video system is useful for the conference room with large audience. A camera station can set up in the conference room permanently or temporarily. One or two webcams may focus on the slide presentation. One webcam may focus on the speaker and one webcam may capture the audience. The live videos allows some employees to watch the conference from their desk computer. The recorded video provides archive for later review of the conference. In this case, it is possible that many employees may use their desk computer to watch the conference. The player station can broadcast the live video such that many users can view the videos at the same time. Here again, one PC can be used as the camera station and the player stations. This video system needs special software to run in the camera station, in the player station, and in the PC of every viewer. All of them are available and downloadable for you to try it out from the website of www.videonetsys.com. The website provides detailed information of such video network system. It provides guidance of selecting the webcams, the PC for the camera station, and the PC for the player stations. It also provides guidance of proper setup of the system. Thank you. See you next time.